My name is Molly Enright and I am the K-12 Program Manager at Beyond Benign. This is a spin on the traditional types of reactions lab that is done in classrooms all across the United States. What's different about this particular lab is that students are given two procedures for each of the types of reactions and challenged to decide which they would prefer to do based off of supplemental information about the human health and environmental impacts of each of the reagents and products that's provided in the lab for them. As a teacher, you only need to prep the greener, safer um, reagents because you're not actually going to have them do the other one. And in the next couple of videos, Marissa and Lavinia are going to, going to be walking you through the single displacement, double displacement, and decomposition reactions from our lab. I'm Marissa Spira. I'm Lavinia Collins. And we are from Innovation Academy Charter School in Kings Royal Mass. So we are doing reaction type A and we're doing the second procedure and we've already poured five milliliters of hydrochloric acid into a test tube. And we are ready to pour, put in our zinc coated nail. The procedure recommends to sand it with a steel wool, but we found that it works just as well without. So when you drop the nail into the test tube, you wanna drop it with the flat side first because that will prevent the glass from breaking. And as you can see, bubbles are forming, and that is hydrogen gas. And this is an example of a single displacement reaction. Now we will be doing reaction type B, and we have selected to do procedure two. We have pre-measured five milliliters of calcium chloride and sodium carbonate. Now we will put the two solutions together into one test tube. We can see the formation of a precipitate, which would be calcium carbonate. Which is a scientific term for chalk. This is an example of double displacement. This is reaction type C, and we are doing the first procedure. We have already pre-measured 15 milliliters of 6% hydrogen peroxide and 3% hydrogen peroxide into two test tubes. The procedure calls for potato as a catalase, but we will be using beef liver instead as it works just as well. Taking two pea-sized samples of beef liver, making sure that you put it all the way down. The catalase is breaking down the hydrogen peroxide and forming oxygen bubbles. We can test for the oxygen bubbles by using a glowing splint test. This is an example of decomposition, and by comparing the 6% to the 3%, we can see the effect concentration has on rate of reaction. 